Welcome to Inquisitive Kids. Today, we will be proving parallelograms using its properties and its definition. So this is where all of the knowledge from the last lesson comes in, because by knowing the different properties of parallelograms, that can help us prove parallelograms. Proving parallelograms are just saying and identifying that this shape is a parallelogram through logic and reasoning, which is a very important skill to have in mathematics. This video will be part one in three parts of the lesson determining parallelograms. Learning goals. Learn different ways to determine parallelograms. Flexibly apply different methods of determining parallelograms when solving problems. So let's do some review. Here are the properties of parallelograms. Sides. Opposite sides are parallel and opposite sides are congruent. Now properties of angles. Opposite angles are equal and adjacent angles are supplementary. Here's a reminder. Supplementary just means that two angles add up to equal 180 degrees. Complementary would mean that they add up to be 90 degrees. Diagonals. Diagonals bisect each other. Bisect means that they split each other halfway through exactly. And finally, it's property of symmetry. Parallelograms have a center of symmetry at the intersection between the two diagonals. So this is just some review from the previous two videos where we talked about the properties of each of the parts of a parallelogram. After learning all about parallelograms, Karen went home and nailed a parallelogram with thin wooden strips. The next day, Karen took the parallelogram she made by herself and showed it to her classmate. Now her classmate Kaylee asked, how can you be sure that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram? So Karen is trying to prove to her classmates that this indeed, in fact, is a parallelogram. But how can she do that? Well, in this lesson, we will be looking at the different methods of determining parallelograms. So here's our first method. Can a parallelogram be formed by using two 30 centimeter long wooden sticks and two 20 centimeter long wooden sticks as its four sides? Well, let's test it out. Its definition is that a quadrilateral with two sets of opposite sides that are equal is a parallelogram. So given in quadrilateral ABCD, AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to CB, out of the information that we are given, how can we prove that quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram? Well, here is our proving process. We can connect BD. So we have that diagonal forming four angles, one, two, three, and four. In triangles ABD and CDB, AB is equal to CD, AD is equal to CB, and BD is equal to DB. Therefore, these two triangles are congruent through the formula SSS, side, side, side. Therefore, angles 1 and 2 are equivalent, and so are angles 3 and 4. We also know that AB and CD are parallel, and AD and CB are parallel. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is indeed, in fact, a parallelogram. Conclusion. Here is method one of determining parallelograms. A quadrilateral with two pairs of equivalent opposite sides are parallelograms. Geometrically explained, this is if AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC, therefore quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Observe how in this short snippet of how it would look like in a proving process, we are using the symbols since then. This is because of something, so we know something. This means therefore, and this means because, or since, or given that. So this is almost like an if-then statement. As shown in quadrilateral ABCD, E and F are each points on BC and AD. We are also given that AF is equal to CE. So prove that quadrilateral AECF is a parallelogram. Well, using the first method that we just looked at, from what is given, we know that triangles ABE and CDF are congruent, SAS, side angle, side. So AE is equivalent to CF in terms of length. 
And because AF and CE are the same, therefore we know that quadrilateral AECF is a parallelogram. Here this is a typo. I'll change it into AECF. So this would be our answer. Now here is the second method of determining parallelograms. Activity two, put two wooden sticks A, D, and B, C of the same length parallel to each other. Then reinforce them with wooden sticks A, B, and C, D. The obtained quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Predict, a quadrilateral with a set of opposite sides parallel and equal is a parallelogram. Well, here would be our proving process. Given that in quadrilateral ABCD, AB is parallel to CD, prove that this is a parallelogram. Well, we can first connect the diagonal AC, creating angles 1 and 2. Because AB is parallel to CD and angles 1 and 2 are equal to each other, and AB is equal to CD and AC is equal to CA, we know that triangles ABC and CDA are congruent through SAS, side angle side. Out of this, we know that BC is equal to DA. A quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram if two sets of opposite sides are equal. So here is our conclusion on the second method. A quadrilateral with one set of opposite sides that are both parallel and equal would be called a parallelogram. Geometrically, since AB is equal to CD, AB is parallel to CD, therefore quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Here is your second problem. As shown in parallelogram ABCD, A, E, and C, F are each the bisectors, remember what that word means, bisector, a line that splits an angle in half of angles D, A, B, and B, C, D. Prove that A, F, C, E is a parallelogram. Well, here would be our proof. In parallelogram A, B, C, D, A, E, and C, F are each the bisectors of angles D, A, B, and B, C, D. Therefore, angle B and D are congruent, and A, B is equal to C, D, and A, D is parallel to B, C. Both angles B, A, E, and D, C, F would be one half of angles D, A, B, and B, C, D, since they're bisected. So, triangles ABE is congruent to triangle CDF through ASA, angle side angle. Therefore, BE is equal to DF and AF is equal to CE. Since AF is parallel to CE, quadrilateral AFCE is a parallelogram. And we know this because a quadrilateral with a set of opposite sides parallel and equal is a parallelogram. As we're going through the, pro the proving process together, I want you to really pay attention to how we are organizing our steps and our thought process through these symbols. A quadrilateral with one set of opposite sides that are parallel and another set of equal opposite sides is not always a parallelogram. This has one set of opposite sides that are parallel and another set of equal opposite sides, but that doesn't mean that they are always a parallelogram. So you have to be careful with when this comes up. Now here is our final method of determining parallelograms, according to definition. Can we determine whether quadrilateral is a parallelogram from its angles? Can you prove that this quadrilateral is a parallelogram from the definition of a parallelogram? Well, going to its very definition, we can try to actually prove that this is a parallelogram. In A, B, C, D, A and C, angles A and C are equal, and so are angles B and D. Since angles A, C, B, and D add up to 360 degrees, and because angle A is equal to angle C and angle B is equal to angle D, we know that 2 times angle A plus 2 times angle B is equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. So this is some work some skills from algebra that we are using in there, dividing both sides by two. So from this, we know that AD is parallel to BC. In the same sense, AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Again, to remind you of the definition, 
quadrilateral with two sets of equal opposite angles is a parallelogram. So here is our final summary. If you're taking notes, this would be a good time to pause the video and to create a table of this on your own. So when determining parallelograms, there are three methods that you can use. Method one, method two, and method three, which is according to the definition. Now we're gonna have a visual and a words description for each of these methods. Method one is according to the conclusion that a quadrilateral with two sets of equal opposite sides is a parallelogram. As shown, this is the visual. And written in symbols, if AB is equal to CD and AD is equal to BC, therefore ABCD is a parallelogram. Now here is the second one. This is based off of a quadrilateral with a set of opposite sides that are parallel and equal is called a parallelogram. So because AD is equal to CD and AD is parallel to CD, this is a parallelogram. And the final method, a quadrilateral with two sets of opposite angles equal is a parallelogram. Because angles A and C are equivalent and so are angles B and D, then this is also a parallelogram. Class summary. Today we determined parallelograms. Method one is given that one set of parallel opposite sides is parallel, it can be proved that another set of opposite sides is parallel. It can also be proved that this set of opposite sides are equal. So in each of these boxes, you it, you will be it will be telling you what you're given in this scenario if you were to use this method and what to find. So if you were to, going to apply method two, you're already given that one set of opposite sides is equal and you need to prove that another set of opposite sides are equal as well. You can also prove that this set of opposite sides is also parallel. And if you were going to do it according to definition, you're already given that one set of opposite angles are equal. So you're trying to prove that the other set of opposite angles are equal as well. Again, this is the perfect time to pause the video and take notes. Lesson summary. Today, we learned the different ways to determine parallelograms, and we were able to apply them flexibly when solving different problems. So thank you so much for watching through Inquisitive Kids. Remember, parts two and three of this exact lesson are coming up soon, so if you would like to be notified when they are uploaded, please be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video or felt like you learned something new, please be sure to hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching through Inquisitive Kids, and we look forward to seeing you next time.